Here at the Luxury Home Show, we aim to find some of the best homes that the UK has to offer and gain access where others can't. Now today, we're taking you inside this Georgian style mansion, just an hour away from central London. Now this home has an indoor swimming pool with spa facilities and a gym. It's even got a bar and a cinema room. Is there anything this home doesn't have? We're gonna be asking the question today, does this make the ideal family home? Now with security being of high importance at this price point, not only do we have electric gates that allow in and out access to this driveway, we also have a car lift on this resin set driveway so that you can actually park your car and lower it down into the basement so that it's extra, extra safe. We've got some special things in the basement to show you, so wait and stay tuned for that. I know you're gonna be impressed. Now you can see from the traditional sash windows that we have a very Georgian style design here. Always one of my favourites is that real mansion vibe, isn't it, Jazz? This is what you picture when you think mansion. 100%, especially with those pillars. Yes, we've got some blue skies today, although it is still a little bit chilly. It's November at the end of the day. Should we get this tour started inside, Jazz? Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. So we're starting this tour off in the entrance hall, and wow, check out this staircase access to the upper two floors and a skylight casting all that light down onto this pendant light up above. Jazz, how cool is that? It's pretty incredible. Insane, right? We've got panelling halfway up the walls through here. We've also got wallpaper as well, so it's a little bit softer. Come through here and we have the guest toilet right at the end of this little hallway. We've also got this London wallpaper and then this hidden cupboard. So it looks like a bookshelf. Oh my gosh. And it's a great place to hide some jackets and some boots near the front of the house. Yeah, it reminds me of the um, study in Sophie Patterson's house. Yes, if you guys haven't seen that yet, make sure to go and check that out. We'll leave a link so you can head over. Just next to me here is a study at the front of the property, currently being used as a games room. Great spot for it. Let's come this way. We've got all of the living areas behind me, but I'm guessing you're looking at the staircase now and it's pretty amazing. Uh, yeah, that is what's happening cool, right, right now. <laughs> We've also got a utility just through here, perfectly equipped with all the washing machines, dryers, and loads of storage. But come on through into the main living area. Now, as you would expect from any open plan living area, you've got three different zones, the sitting area, the dining area, and the kitchen. Now, we've got loads of shaker style units all the way through here, and they really suit the property. Very Definitely. traditional, you know? Love the lighting as well. We've got recessed lightings in each of the three zones. Mm -hmm. At this end, we have a range of Gaganau appliances. So from the fridge, freezer, and the water dispenser here with the ice cubes, we've also got a steam oven, a microwave oven just here, two regular ovens, and then two proofing drawers as well. Oh, nice. So well equipped for a chef. I like the mix of the blue and the sort of warm gray slash creamy style color. It's not yeah. quite white. It makes it feel a little bit more cozy in here. Definitely. Yeah, like you said, that blue is like, very striking. Yeah, exactly. Nice two-tone, right? Mm -hmm. We've also got the Gaganau hob just here. It is the induction hob, so it's nice and easy to clean. And then we've got this, I suppose it's like a tapenaki style grill, right? You put your flat hot plate on there. You can grill your kebabs, meats, yeah. and all that stuff. If you have a look here, Jazz, as well, we have the wine cooler just here. Grab out your LP. Nice. Cheeky swig. Yeah, so much storage under there as well. You're not short for it, are you? No. Then you've got the breakfast bar that wraps around this sort of curved area, but also there. So five seats at a breakfast bar, whole family. Yeah. Now at this end, we have the round room. So this is like a conservatory orangery access out to the garden, but I would love to see this room filled with large plants. Don't you think it would look cool? And imagine a Christmas tree. Yes, it's nearly that time room. of year. Oh yeah. Also got a dog bed here for the adorable cockapoo, Charlie. Oh yeah. The family dog. We met mm -hmm. him this morning, he was very cute. He was. Right, let's continue to check out the rest of this space. We've got a bench seat just here. And we have access out to the garden in each of the different living areas through here. A great spot for dining here in the centre of the room. Get some great light through here. More pops of colour. Oh my yes. gosh, it matches the roses. I know, very well thought out, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And then as we come through here, we have the sitting room. We've got the fireplace. Again, recessed lighting. This is the spot where the family kick it back watch some TV in the evening, you know? Yeah. And then this lounge through here is that little bit more formal. Now the flooring changes from these stone tiles that we've seen all the way through to this parquet, dark wood, herringbone flooring in a quite wide plank. 
half paneling on the walls again, shutters and sash windows. So super traditional. I also, love that light, sorry Tom, that's funky. That's cool, isn't it? It reminds me of, um, where is it in the world? Is it Hungary, where they have all hot air balloons? <gasps> yeah, uh, Turkey. Turkey. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, that's kind of what it, where my mind went anyway. We've got a spot to get some work done here, spot to make some music here. <laughs> and then we head through back to the hallway I'm gonna go downstairs because this basement is awesome. So follow me, we'll check it out. This floor is definitely the modern floor. Yeah. It's got all the gizmos, all the cool rooms. There's a guest bedroom just behind Jazz. Then as we move this way, past the garage, which we're gonna pop into in just a bit. Let's head in here, Jazz. Ooh, okay. So this is like the games room, the bar, the media room. It's a cool hang. Pretty epic, isn't it? Wow. Put pool table in the middle. Come on, we've got to get one in at least, and I'll be happy. And nothing. Are you unhappy? Yep. <laughs> okay, hopefully this bar redeems it and makes up for my lack of competence in the sporting areas. Pretty incredible, isn't it? Yeah, that backlighting just makes it. Because it's dark shelves too. Yeah. It's the contrast, I think. It yeah. looks like something out of James Bond, like a James Bond yes. Batman themed bar. Shaken, not stirred, and you're spoiled for choice. <laughs> so we have a WC down here, toilet right next to the cinema room, so you don't have to go Ooh. back upstairs. Should we pop in? It might be very dark in here. Let's see what, we th what we're dealing with. That's fine. Tom, I actually have a surprise for you. In here? Yeah, so if you sit on a chair. Okay, I'll go for this one so you can see me. Yeah, now you're on the chair. Look at the buttons. What have we got? We've got a light. Okay, a light in my cup holder. Open. Okay, so they recline. Yeah. Which is awesome, but you kind of expect that. And then, oh, massage. Yep. Oh, come on, stop it. Two hours later. Back Ooh. into the daylight. Whew. Big contrast there. That was quite. And then we pop down, and as we've gone beyond those steps, it stops being like leisure and play and more like physical activity, if you know what I mean. Oh, okay. And relaxation, I should say. So we've got the gym through here, an essential part of any home at this price point. But That's... this one is, is fully equipped. Got absolutely no excuse if you live in this house. Got some skylights there for light as well, because it's quite dark. Yeah, we are in the basement at the end of the day, so we need all the natural light we can get. Now, in here, a bit of a surprise. Massage, please. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> At the bottom of your property, in the basement, an underground pool. This is so epic. We've got a variety of different tiles down here. Some quite grippy ones on the floor, which is handy, because it could get very slippery down yeah. here. The columns make a nice touch, don't they? Make it a little bit more interesting, but also, I'm sure, essential, because there's a lot of weight above us right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a lot of weight. We can yeah. see the gym. Obviously, it's a glass wall, so you can have a look through there and look back out when you are working out. Ambient lighting up above us. Got some tiles on the wall too. A shower, water feature. This is epic. Yeah. Right, on with the tour. Come on back down this corridor then. I'm gonna lead you through to the garage because I said I'd show you, so I don't wanna disappoint. <laughs> All you petrol heads out there, you're gonna love this. So let's head in. Now in this garage, which is much more of a showroom, we have the finest selection of classic vehicles. Now I'm sure some of you know more about these cars than I do, so if so, leave down in the comments some corrections when I get stuff yeah, wrong. Yeah, feel free to correct Tom. <laughs> exactly, but I do know that this is a Jaguar E-Type and it is one of the prettiest road cars out there ever made. And in that green with the soft top, pretty cool, right? Love it. Got a Porsche Speedster here, Spider in front of it, and that is actually an office just there, so you can see all of your prized possessions from your office mm -hmm. while you're working. You know, this is where the car lift was at the start of the video, so this is where you'd bring your vehicles down. There's also an old Jag there. I think it might be an XK. As I said, let me know if I'm wrong. Right, we've got the principal suite to show you guys, so we're gonna head up there now and show you. So now coming up onto the first floor then, it's time to head into the main bedroom. So Jazz, come on down. I know it's easy to get distracted by this staircase. Oh yeah. So in the principal suite, we have a coffered ceiling with recessed lights again. Really nice feature lighting. And check out this balcony, Jazz. Oh, so obviously wow. we had that round, that round section in the kitchen. Yeah, How cool yeah. is that? That's nuts. Amazing, right? Now, Ooh. let's go into the 
en suite. Okay. So through here, we've got the freestanding bath in the center. I like that the toilet has actually been separated off with a glass screen. Oh, and then we have an in oh. and out shower. Gosh, I thought I was about to walk into glass then. That's why I hesitated. Yeah, Can't wouldn't, that wouldn't have been the first time. No. <laughs> if you haven't seen that tour, guys, go and check it out if you want to see Jazz into some glass. Yep, thank you. <laughs> Good boyfriend. <laughs> Sorry. So this is the, wow. um, the dressing room, essentially. The, walk-in wardrobe. It's more than walk-in though, isn't it? Yeah, it's like Narnia. This is what I need. Okay, private things in there. Yeah. That's not for our eyes. <laughs> this is like my dream. This is how much storage I need for my clothes. Oh my God, it just goes on. Cool, right? Wow. I like that it's arched as well. And we appear to have air yeah. con through here as well. I believe we had that downstairs too. That's good. And then I like how the wallpaper has literally continued on throughout the whole Yes. House. Like they've kept the same theme. Yeah. Not too mismatch. Yeah, I agree. So this is a, another bedroom. Actually, Jazz, I don't know if you realised, but in that ensuite, there was a balcony from the ensuite, as well as a balcony from oh, the room. Wow. So they had a balcony on both. That's so cool. Just chilling. I and love the bed. How like, cute is this? Is my childhood Sleepover dream. goals. Oh, even got the little stars in the ceiling, the yeah. stairs. <gasps> so cool. I love it. Speakers in the ceiling as well. It's pretty incredible. It is. Okay, where are we going now, Tom? So I'm taking you along the landing yet again, where we have this beautiful bench seat. This is the door from the dressing room, so it's no longer a door. It's oh, a false door. Fake door. And then this side, there's another bedroom, which is essentially a mirror of the room that we've just shown you. So now we're gonna head up to the top floor and show you the rest. So we've got all the natural light at the top of this staircase. Have a look here down, Jazz. Oh my gosh, this is so scary. Whoa. How's that for a sweeping staircase? That is pretty sweeping. Pretty epic, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Come on through here then. We're going to show you the bedrooms on this floor. Oh, nice. So this is a pretty cool setup for what appears to be a younger gentleman. Is that a mirror? No, it's just oh. walk-in wardrobe. Oh my gosh, I couldn't even tell. Pretty legit, isn't it? Yeah, that's so good. Yeah, you've got a drum set there, What's signed there? arsenal top. I'm guessing this is the bathroom. Yeah. Oh, nice, en suite. Yeah. Don't mess around, it's pretty. No. I'm sorry, but that number plate. You fucking idiot. And then at the top floor, we've got two further guest bedrooms. So, you know, if you're gonna come stay here, there is plenty of rooms for you. Yeah, and it's worth noting that we do have. Yes, the control smart control system. system. I don't think we've mentioned this, but it's a great way to control all of the lighting, all of the scenes throughout the house. Right, let's head down and check out the garden. So coming out of the round room, which is currently cast in the sun, we can see all of the, the architecture on the back of the property, all the different balconies from the bedrooms that we've just checked out. Loads of tiled patio space here, for plenty of entertaining. You've got an outdoor kitchen with a Weber barbecue over there, so perfect for the summer. Plenty of seating areas, even got a basketball hoop there. Lots of activities in this garden. And there's even more behind Jazz. So do a little spin for me, Jazz. Okay, spinning. So we've got a football pitch in the middle of the garden. But beyond that, there's plenty of like, cool play areas over there. Should we go and have a look? Yeah, let's go explore. Right, see you up there. Plenty of mature trees here. I love the tree cover. That's what I love about Hadley Wood, actually, Jazz, is the fact that you can be so close to London, but you still feel like you're in the countryside. Yeah, definitely. We've got a trampoline there. I mean, this it'd be rude so not to. Cool. Wait a minute. I'll come up to the only bit that isn't connected to the rest. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a second. Here I am. It's like a big old, big old pirate ship. It's like a fort. If it wasn't so wet, I'd be quite tempted to go down this slide, but I think, yeah, I don't think that would be the comfiest drive back in my wet trousers. No, I think you'd get quite a wet bum. How do I get down? Uh, background. You Fireman's have to go pole? down the slide. Yeah, fireman's pole. Didn't think I'd be doing this this morning. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jesus. God, what's this then? We have like an outbuilding slash guest house. This is amazing. Wow. So that about concludes our tour of this incredible North London mansion. If you've enjoyed this video, leave us a like. It really helps us out. And make sure to subscribe so that we can continue to bring you better and better house tours all throughout the UK. If you have enjoyed this video, let us know down in the comments what you think. Is this house perfect? Would you change anything? And we'll see you in the next episode of The Luxury Home Show.